I'm so excited. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Right. Bug out here. Yeah, monkey's got a story to tell too, but she won't tell me what it is. Nope. Is it is it made up or not gonna tell you. You guys can tell stories too. As long as it's, it's Halloween kind of like related. It could be Bigfoot. It could be ghosts. It could be Loch Ness Monster. Chupacabra. Aliens. It can be made up. It can be real. As long as it's somewhat spooky. Yeah. Yeah. It don't have to be real. It can be something you made up or you heard. So we got four. All right. Yay. Hi everyone. So. As you can see. We are in the boat. Yes. But if I go like this, you can probably see the truck there. We are hooked up on the truck, sitting in the boat on the trailer. Now, the reason why we're not out. What does that say? Looks relaxing. Yeah. Said. But the reason we're not on the water is because we got an issue with the trailer lights now this truck has been hit three times in the daytime and once at night when all the lights were working so I didn't want to chance it so she said we'll do it in the boat anyway so we're in the boat we're in the boat we're just not on, on land the water. and we didn't want to take it out because we don't, I don't need a ticket and um, he couldn't figure it out. We have to buy a new box. He figures. So yeah. No, I don't figure. I know. Yeah. The converter box went bad. So yeah. on the trailer, the right turn signal and brake light does not work. And we didn't know this until about well, 7 o'clock at it night. Does, the trailer <laughs> does work, but the converter box from the truck where you yeah. plug it in at, it went bad. So it's not putting what it needs to put out. And it out. was fine when we went camping. So, yeah, yeah, so it it's not putting out what what it should be. So on the trailer, we don't have a right turn signal or right brake light. And on the left side, it works fine, but when you put your foot on the brake, uh, it wigwags. Yeah. It'll blink on the left trailer and then blink on the le left on the truck, you know what I mean? But not together. It'll blink trailer, truck, trailer, truck, trailer, truck. So... I don't want to get hit again so we decided we'll just stay home and we just we're gonna we're still in the boat mm -hmm. but we're in the front yard but see, yeah, see it's still hooked up to the truck we're not in the water guys so I told him just not tell anybody we sit in the boat and pretend we're in the water but yeah he, but he I don't tell the truth. I don't do that I don't click bait <laughs> I mean yeah. if we would have went out when it was still daylight like I wanted to we'd be out on the water well, we still had daylight, but we went up. By the time we got home, it would have been dark, dark. So we still may have had an issue getting home. Maybe not, though. <laughs> Wouldn't even noticed it. Well, it was still a little daylight. I told you we could go. Well, one was working, the other one wasn't. So it wasn't daylight enough. I wanted to go out earlier in the daytime and do a little boating. Yeah. And then do. And find out where the best spot was to get service and stuff. Mm -hmm. The spookiest looking spot. Well, she wanted to leave not until 7.30. Yeah. So, I thought, well, let's check the lights. And, well, converter box went bad. So, I got one ordered. Yep. I'll show you guys how to do that. Because you can't just wire right in. You can't wire your pigtail on this truck right into the... Uh, tail lights because the turn signals have their own circuit you know so you got your brake lights and you got your turn signals you said oh man so so <clears throat> you need a converter box you can't just because if you wire it directly in you know when you turn on one signal they're all going to flash even on the truck yeah so you can't so you have to have that converter box when you got this kind of a tail light system in your vehicle so 
Drone Ready is here. Who? Drone Ready. Sure. Drone Ready? Mm-hmm. Happy Halloween, Drone. Yep. So, anyway, so that's why, so, I don't, well, she's right. We'll just still go ahead and sit in the boat. She, she put a little step over there, steps, the two-step thing to get up into the boat. So. A crappy, but we make the best out of it. I mean, we've probably, probably been all right, but like I said, hell, we got hit. I mean, it was nighttime, it was dark time when we got hit the last time. And all the lights were working on the truck. Well, I don't want somebody hitting this boot. It's Halloween, and the popos are going to be out, so I didn't want to chance it either. Yeah. So, sorry, guys. But we're here, and we make the best out of it. Yeah, I did get all the lights working in the boat. Yes. I remember I had one go out, and then the more I messed with it, two more went out, so I had three. I got them fixed today. It was just a bad wire. So, I got all the lights working in the boat, and then we go to get ready to take off. I hitch up, and I thought, well, I better, because I like to check the lights every so often, you know, because they can go out just like that, and sure enough. Mm -hmm. So I checked everything, and everything's fine on the boat, on the trailer, you know. They're working the way they're supposed to, but what's coming out of the truck is not, so. Again, sorry about that, guys. Sorry we're not on the water like I promised, but. We're here. Mm -hmm. It's story time. Hopefully you guys have some stories to tell, too. She can read them on her phone there. And she's got one she's going to tell. You have one. No, I don't have any. You're supposed to. I'm the host. It don't matter. You're still supposed to. Yeah, I'm sure I've got <laughs> stories. Trust me. Been paranormal investigating since I was 18. Well, tell me a story that 19, you never told me. 1987, so I've got a story or two. And my shit's true, but uh, mm -hmm. if you guys want to tell a story, it don't have to be true. It can be a made-up story. You just kind of make it spooky. Spooky. Yeah, like I said, paranormal to me is anything that's not normal. Sasquatch, you know, uh, Loch Ness Monster, Chupacabra, anything like that. Make something up. don't matter. I was going to go get a burner phone. Oh. That way they could call in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. That would have been cool. Yeah. He never mentioned it to me. That would have been fun. I mean, they're cheap enough. We just use it for YouTube. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. just one of those $30 phones or something, you know, mm -hmm. and use it for YouTube and... Yeah, that they can would be call cool. in whenever we do a live stream. Yeah. Uh, somebody else did that for a while. Who was it? Remember they were doing it. Um, carpet bag. Yeah. His wife would would do that. Yeah. I talked to. Him. I told him a story one time. Yeah. 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 And she said it right on on live. Well, they had me on speaker. Yeah. So I had to go to another room because there was a delay. Mm -hmm. I was getting feedback. So, anyway, man, we keep picking up viewers and losing viewers. We were up to five. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of like to talk for a minute, you know, and, and uh, explain to you why we're not on the water and we're just sitting in the boat. I really, again, sorry about that, guys, but I know I'll have some haters later come in. Well, why didn't you just go anyway? Well, because them kind of people ain't going to pay our ticket. They're not going to buy us a new boat when our boat gets totaled. Because remember, there's two feet of motors sticking out of the back of this boat. Yeah. You know. And if somebody's got a got a dash cam, I can't say, well, I didn't know they were working, you know. Or, right. You know, I'm not going to lie to the cops like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And just... You know, it's just not worth it. And then, in that case, it would be our fault. And then, you know, now we're, you know, we're stuck with a total boat and a messed up truck and paying for somebody else's vehicle and all that when it can all be avoided. But the boat itself is fine, guys. We're just missing 
a gallon or two of water under it. <laughs> I thought about, I would chance it to go down here to the river. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be an issue. The issue there is no service. Yeah. No We'd service. have to go about five miles up river. Yeah. And she didn't want to leave early, so. Sorry. Didn't know this and was going to happen. Late. So, anyway, I can't, I can't apologize enough. I am very, very sorry. The I next year, it'll LED be different. Right there. Oh, you got one out? One little LED. Oh, jeez. You don't replace them. It's a whole strip. Yeah. Anybody comment? No. Silent. So, who wants to go? You guys want Monkey to tell the story first? It's tell a her long story? One. That's fine. Is it true or? You'll have to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we need need to know. No, I think you could figure it out. It'd be more fun, or... right? Do I know it? No, I don't think so. Still got the strap here. That's pretty cool because we need on it. Yeah. See, I'm gonna put a bar across the front for you to be able to do that. When we're riding, yeah, you can hang on. You know what I mean, right? What are you doing? Trying to find my story. Oh, it's on the internet. Yeah. Okay, then it's probably not true, but it don't matter because it's, it's just something that happened here in Inverness. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm trying to find. Go it. to your I'm, your um. I'm trying to find. It. Okay, go to your history and you'll find it. Hey, Chris. Happy Halloween. Chris is here. Hi, Chris. <laughs> There's a guy with a hockey mask behind us. Huh? A guy with a hockey mask behind us. Where? <laughs> you know who the guy with the hockey mask is, don't you? Yeah, what's his name? <laughs> Creepy. Does he have a big machete? <laughs> machete? Yeah. Russian, Jason. Russian hacking hacker calls it machete. Chase. I just call it a machete. <laughs> Big freaking <friggin'> knife. <laughs> yep, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that too, getting masks and wearing, but hmm. I thought it would hinder our voices, which might have been cool. Ooh. We could tell a story like this once upon a time. It's a guy named Shaver. Really? Every time he wanted to do something, something fucked up on him. Mm. And he got pissed off. And he <laughs> found him in a watchtower with a high-powered rifle a week later, picking people <laughs> off left and right. You're funny. Not going to happen, but it's a good story. <laughs> I wouldn't be in a watchtower. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, we do have a full moon, but I don't think they can see it through the trees there. No. Well, I don't know. Might be able to. It's bright enough. That little dot right there is the moon. Except there's a light. So the moon is right up in... That's the, that's the uh, moon. Anyway, there's a moon. Full moon tonight. Yeah. It's quite nice out, you, really. Yeah, if you guys seen my video from last night, the fishing video, mm -hmm. um, I've got a good picture of the moon. Mm -hmm. Did you find your story? Yes. Okay. You ready? You guys ready for the story? First story of the evening. It's a long one. Okay, this happened in Inverness where we live. Halloween in Inverness in the 50s, 1950, wasn't a great deal different than today. Children still trick and treat in costumes, some homemade, others store bought. There are more organized events now because today's world is a bit more complicated and soaping the windows of local businesses is a thing of the past. The Halloween Carnival was held on the softball field of Citrus High School. And it's not far from here. No. Directly behind the east slide line bleachers of the old football field. 
My earliest memories of the carnival included the fish pond, where you fished at a counter that was too high for most youngsters to see over a PTA. Volunteers. Polly Hester and Fran Allen are ladies I remember being being behind the counter, would provide a pole with line which was cast over the counter. After a few seconds, the youngsters would feel a sharp tug on the line and pull the prize on the other end. My favorite prize was comic books. My mother, Irene Johnson, and Nell Tyner made little bean bag dolls for the fish pond for several years. Mike and Eloise Van Ness provided ponies and a few cents a child could take a short ride. Members of the Van Ness family guided uh, at the ponds. I always recall that Pop, Otto, and John Allen set up a tent, chair screen, and movie projectors and showed a short cowboy movie. But the most vivid and frightening memory of Halloween I have is of an incident that took place probably around 1956. I would have been 11 years old. Then I was allowed to trick-or-treat unchaperoned with friends. That Halloween at dark, a couple, a group, sorry, I will identify as myself, Mo, Curly, and Larry. Don't want to embarrass anyone. Went directly to the haunted house, as we called it, after the carnival. It was a two-story wooden frame house at the corner of Trout Avenue and Emory Street. The house had been vacant for several years. It was indeed a sinister looking Edfice. It was in need of paint and on this night there was a bright moon and an old oak tree in the front of the house. It seemed to spread its mossy limbs toward the forbidding looking structure, casting ominous shadows on the house. We had planned all week to go into the house and look around. The stories we heard are fabricated about the house where it fit for an Edgar what? What? The light. Oh, it came back on. The light no, came look. back on. It's flickering. What the heck? So, the stories we heard are fabricated about the house were fit for an Edgar Allan Poe novel. Rumor had it that long ago a woman murdered her husband there and cut his head off. The unfortunate victim supposedly still roamed the house looking for his head. <laughs> I asked my mother about the horrific incident and I recall her telling me it was nonsense. The only people I know that lived there were the Richerbergs, Richbergs. And I saw Mr. Richberg at the, his grocery store Saturday and his head was still attached. She said I dismissed this as my mom trying not to scare me. As we approached the house, the Bra bravado and the enthusiasm we felt had felt all week long started to whine. By the time we reached that dark, sinister looking house, we were having serious reservations, but Mo, who was fearless, almost said, come on, it's too late to chicken out now. We found an unlocked window at the back of the house and the four of us entered the house through the window. Once inside, we moved around the house in a tight group. It really was spooky. As we approached the stairs to go up and explore the second floor, we heard a blood-curling scream. At the same time, Curly came flying down the stairs. He jumped out the window and started running with the rest of his right behind him. We didn't stop running until we came to the McLeod house at the eastern end of, uh, what do they call it, Zephyr, Zephyr Street. We sat on the curb in front of the house, out of the breath and panting. All Curly could say, he saw a ghost. Days later, Curly finally told us what happened. He had sneaked away from our group and went upstairs, knowing we would check out the upstairs bedrooms. He planned to hide in a closet, 
to jump out and scare us when he entered the bedroom. He was wearing a ghost costume and he had uncovered his head when he left the carnival. He decided to put the entire costume back on for the full effect when he jumped out of the closet. What he didn't expect was a full-length mirror on the in inside of the closet door. When Curly opened the closet door, he was staring at a ghost. Albert himself was it. It nearly scared him to death. By the way, the haunted house was raised years ago, but I heard that the headless victim still roams the neighborhood looking for his head. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of interesting and the streets that they're talking about they're right down here by the courthouse so it might be interesting to see if he really roams around one day we could go down there and see you never know even though the house is gone but we can go to those areas well, we, you should have mentioned that earlier yeah. we could have did a live stream up there walked around the streets looking for shit uh, too many people might be out tonight, though. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to do that some night. Yeah. Go check them out. So I thought that was quite interesting when I read it. I was looking for something for us to do, and I came upon this story. Yeah, we was looking for haunted hotels and stuff we could go stay in. And we were going to, but the one we were going to go to wasn't what it said it was. No, there's supposed to be a little girl. <coughs> That's, that's haunting the place too but I think it's just the way it looks and everything you know how stories can get you know yeah. you build one of them within a year it's going to be so haunted you know right right I, I like to stay in like documented haunted places right it, like that one hotel we stayed in the desk clerk did, he wouldn't when he got off work he I asked him if he'd walk around the halls with me he said nope Oh, he was scared. No, he says when I get off, I'm going home. There was a little bar there, and we sat there and had a couple of drinks. And he got off work, he come over and had a drink, and he left. Yeah, oh. he doesn't want to get involved. Because I said, look, I'll buy you a couple more drinks. He's like, no, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> you're trying to get me liquored up, so he I'll say young. yeah. He was young. Yeah, but he 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 was like, man, he was like, I'm not doing it. He was scared. He 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 won't take anything to people's rooms. He'll get someone else to do it. Yeah. Yeah, when it's so late at night, he won't do. He won't go. He won't. He don't like to go in the halls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was young because he was talking about this old woman. He, he and he said, "Yeah, she's an older lady, and she's like I'm talking like really old, like 40. Mm -hmm. We're standing there in our 50s." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> but yeah, he no, he he's scared. He said he wouldn't even work there if he didn't need money. Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, he's seen shit and heard shit, and he said. And there's that, a little girl that rooms up yeah, too. Yeah, he said the last time he seen he seen something, and uh, he said he'll never take anything to a room again. He'll get someone else to do it. Well, that's a very old, old <clears throat> hotel. Yeah, that well, they the back did. section yeah. was added on later, but we we got to stay in, in the, the original section. part. It was a 1927 yeah. yeah hotel or 22 or something. So yeah. Wow. And it's documented. It's all supposed to be true. So. Mm -hmm. And all the stories are pretty much the same. But yeah, it's it's very well documented. Who haunted hotel? We're hoping to go somewhere next year. Yeah, but we need to go back there again sometime. But next year, hopefully, we're we're, we're going to be out in a ghost town somewhere out west. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that'd be cool. Mhm. Mm I like to go to that hotel in Georgia too. Well, we'll, we'll get there too. But yeah, it'd be cool to stay in, in a ghost town. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, yeah, definitely. A real, real haunted ghost town. I mean, town. how many people do that, right? I should see if I can get into that. Uh, what's that hotel again? Oh, okay. That I want to stay in out there. Um, oh, the real popular one. I don't know the name. Yeah, I forget the name of it. I'd like to book that now for <laughs> next Halloween. Mm hmm. I'd be something. Head out west. Cool. You can head on out there, you know, a couple of days in advance. Right. See a couple of things along the way. Mm hmm. Be very cool. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll definitely we'll, we'll go somewhere next year. 
I still like to go down those streets and see if we find something. Yeah, maybe we can do that next weekend or something. Mm-hmm. There's a there's some haunted roads around here. What's that one? 19's haunted. Yeah. Over here in, by Crystal River in yeah. the Indo area. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what's the other one? Route 4, the one you don't like to go on, what is it? 40. No, the one that's real haunted over by like Daytona area. No, it's in um, Orlando. Orlando. Is it Route 4? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like Route 4. Too many craziness. A lot of people have died on that. They say they it say is it's haunted. haunted. Yeah. yeah. She, she don't Route like to be 4. On that. I know. I get on it and I get off of it as fast as I can. I try a to lot avoid of crashes it. and wrecks and oh. people hit by cars and stuff like that. A lot like of that. deaths. A, a lot, lot of deaths, deaths on that road, yeah. Yeah. And they're fixing it now. They're trying to, but it's not going to be under, it's been under construction now for a long time. So they shouldn't, I think they said it's going to be five or six years or something like that. The light came back on and it's still on now. But maybe it's the moisture. As soon as you started reading it. Yeah. It's it, it, there's it can't get any moisture in it. They're no, sealed. Just, you can I put heard, them things underwater and they won't go out. I heard a radio in the kitchen. That was weird. I was sitting there eating a slice of pizza. Just, Babe, what? Come here a minute. Okay. She's like, I hear a radio. Yeah, I heard a radio. But it's plain as day. I didn't day. hear. She says she heard a radio yep. advertising Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And I didn't hear it, I, so I thought, well, maybe it's her mom's TV, because, you know, I was watching YouTube, so I knew it wasn't that. So I went in, and I said, Mom, I said, was there something just advertising something on uh, for Saturday Night Live? She said, no, why? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I don't know. I know. thought maybe you had a radio on in in the garage. No, I have nothing on in the garage. And I don't leave that stuff on. I used... Um, Everything shut off in that garage. I used uh, Alexa last night for Bruno because we were both gone and we neither one of us could take Bruno. So we left him here and so I put music on. So I thought, well, maybe that music's still running. No, but, Alexa uh, wasn't mm -hmm. on. This was our candle, by the way. Hello to you, Goonies, Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Sorry we couldn't make your live stream, but yeah. I was out fishing. She was at a at a birthday party, yeah. and we didn't even get back. She, she picked me up, and by the time I got back, it was uh, after 10 o'clock. Yeah. And then I went ahead, and I was having trouble uploading the video. Well, not uploading, but editing the video because my, my computer screwed up. So I didn't even get the video up until after midnight. Mm -hmm. So I missed, sorry I missed your live stream. Yeah, I was Besides, with my grandbabies last you night. You said there was going to be a big spider, so I, I don't. Do he spider. doesn't do spider. Nope. <laughs> no, but seriously. I have to kill the dang things. That's if why they're we in the house and they're big or little. Uh -uh. I've killed a bunch of them. Oh, so. yeah. I got one on video I killed. Yeah, took you forever to kill one though. Yeah, but hey, I really is... need to talk to you both. Will you probably really message me when you have a chance? Okay. Yeah, when we sure. get off, when we get done with this live stream, we'll message you. Yeah. So you missed my story, Nancy. It's all right. You'll have to go back to it. <laughs> yeah. Good thing, but I leave I leave all my live streams up so. Yeah, you can go back to them later. Yeah, so Maybe that way in case busy people... Busy or... Have to well, the last live stream got like 63 views. Yeah, after. yeah. After. So that's why I just leave them up. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless there's like a lot of uh, uh, copyrighted stuff, then I'll take it now. You're in a bit of trouble and need some help. Well, you need to text. <laughs> we will as soon as we get... As yeah. soon as we're done with this live stream. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get mm -hmm. a hold of you and... Mm. Yeah. You so, can send her your number and she can call She already you. has me. She has mine. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. So she'll text you when we get done with this and then you can call. And yeah. <clears throat> that tree looks eerie, though. Yeah, it does. I don't know if they can see it. That's the light, I think, from... Anyway, it's... Yeah. One of those trees with the crazy, eh? 
I don't think they can see it through this thing. My camera would show it up real good. Yeah, he's I can live stream on my camera, but it costs ninety nine dollars a month. Anyway, we'll hear the story on replay. Carry on, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell a story too. How are they gonna do that without typing? They're not. They're gonna type it in. Yeah, they have to type. Should have did it in there, and then I could have just let them come on camera. Yeah, but we were trying to. To not disappoint in the boating thing. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of last minute thing. By the way, Nancy, as you can see, we're on our boat, but paranormal files. But I don't know if you can see, but we're still hooked up to the truck. <laughs> well, uh. so it just in a nutshell, Nancy, what happened was uh, we was getting ready to go, and I hitched up the boat and everything, and I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and check the lights on the trailer and. We got all the lights except for the right turn signal and right brake light. Yeah. So, as often as this truck gets hit, I didn't want to chance it. And then I thought about going up here to the river. We could go down the river. That would have been fine uh, to drive down to the river. I'd trust it down there, going there, mm -hmm. but not uptown. But <laughs> she's laughing. Down, down. So, <laughs> but down the river, we'd have to go five miles up river to uh, to get any kind of service. So. Right, don't blame. No, yeah. we didn't want to take a chance of getting a ticket and or getting hit from the rear well, end. Since I've been the, hit so many so times. I had to order, it's called a converter box that you hook into your truck and that makes all your lights work on your on your trailer that you're towing. Okay, so it's 18 bucks with $10 shipping and I paid like $4 more for a three year warranty, you know, extended warranty on it. Around here, you know, if if you get busted with, because if you, if you got lights on it, they have to work. Yeah. So it'd be better off not even have them on it because here in Florida, if they see the if they can see the tow vehicle's lights, you're all right. I still wouldn't want to trust it, but if we got the lights on here and one of them's not working right, then they can write you up. It's almost a two hundred dollar fine. And I thought, well, shit, thirty bucks, we'll just buy the part and. Yeah. So, but we'll do it again. It don't have to be Halloween. I just no. wanted to be out, out there on the water. It would have been so cool, you know. Right. Waves and shit. And <laughs> get back in one of them little scary coves. So, but we'll do that again soon. And with the coochie, there's lots of those. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of those little coves that we were showing you. We oh, haven't even seen half of them. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Hell no, honey. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen shit there's hundreds i mean hundreds I, I brought it up on the navigation map and they're just all over the place man. yeah yeah some of them you can't see it's like just a little pathway mm -hmm. just big enough for like a canoe to get into but once you get into it it opens up and it's like another river that goes for a couple of miles yeah and it channels off but they all dead in so you can get lost coming trying to come back out so <laughs> Yeah, but it costs ninety nine dollars a month to be able to use my camera to live stream. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Well, I can get a box. Oh, can you? It's a hundred bucks, but oh. then it's mine. Yeah. It it works off your phone. Mm. You just plug it into your phone. Right. And it's Wi Fi for your camera. Mm. It's a hundred bucks, and then I own it. It's not a hundred bucks a month, <laughs> you know. Right. So I may invest in one of them because it'd be nice to be able to use the camera because then we could use night vision. Right. We're, we're we're doing stupid stuff like this, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How long have we been on? Thirty eight minutes. Yeah, it's your story time. I'll tell a story. Yeah, you we'll, too. We'll give it an hour. If we don't get any more than five, then we'll shut it down. Mm. I understand people's got stuff to do, so. Yep. <laughs> thinking of one? Oh, I, 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 I'm just thinking of which one. I've got hundreds. I mean, literally hundreds of. Well, what's a really good one that I've never heard before? <clears throat> You've never heard of hundreds. I'm serious. I've been doing this shit a yes. long time. She has a ghost in her kitchen. That's right, she does. Yes, she does. We need to go there and figure him out. 
That would be fun. Oh, when we get when we get out there, mm -hmm. uh, we'll definitely go and swing past, see her. We get out next to, year. Next year, maybe. Hopefully, we'll be all over. He's thinking he he is gonna cook. I really wish he would cook he me some eggs and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <coughs> well, we could cook them and I guess I'll eat them. Huh. Hmm? Well, you could cook the ghost. Them and the ghost. I'll cook the ghost. The ghost. And bacon. Remember, it, yeah. he's always out there in her kitchen doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should have him sit down at the table with you and have a conversation. I'm sure he's probably there, whether she knows it or not. That light's still on. Yeah. That's I think weird, because usually, when, see, that's not a light. It LED stands for light emitting diode. It's a diode, so when they go out, it should stay out because your diodes burn out. Right. Okay, so why is it... Oh, what? unfortunately, her apartment building won't be there. That's what I need to talk to you mm. about. Oh. You got it. So, <laughs> I got a story about a house that I used to go to. Now this was of course way before I was filming or taking pictures. I've always explored uh, old houses for since I can remember when I was little I remember my dad because he was a junk man. Because mm -hmm. there was always, if there was an abandoned house people just dumped their trash and whatnot there and we'd go get you know copper and beer cans and whatnot you know so I was and whenever there was an old house, Dad would just like go in and say, "Let's go check us out," you know. Right. And so I got. Ever since then, I've been an explorer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, this I was with my first wife, so I was probably. So I got married at 19. I was probably let's say 20, 21 ish. All right. Mm-hmm. So and there was a house I remember my dad took me to one time when I was little. Mm -hmm. I remembered right where it was. And it was in a, uh, a little a little town. Well, it's a village mm -hmm. called Quaker City, Ohio. People that know me know where I'm talking about. Okay, just a. I mean, there's one or two stop signs. There's no stoplight in this place. Cool little village, right? Mm -hmm. Just on the outskirts of that, there's an old there's back roads, gravel roads there, man. Really cool. And there was a big old two-story house there, big old barn and stuff. It sat empty for years and years and years. And I was still in pretty good shape. It wasn't like all trashed out. I mean, kind of, but it wasn't like the vandals didn't get to it yet. Like I said, I've been there a couple times. And I remember my aunt telling me a story. She had went in this house one time. Because they was looking, her my uncle was looking... To uh, like maybe buy the place or rent it or something, because he's like me, you know, he fix it up. They was in there looking around. I remember her telling me, and I was just kidding when, when she told me this, because uh, you know they were talking about. Dad was talking to her about this house, but she was like, "Yeah, that's the one me and Gay went and looked at a couple years ago." Well, Gay's my uncle. That's his real name, Gay. Um, well, his name. His name's Layton Gay, but that's his real name. So anyway, and she's, I remember, I was probably about 10. I remember she said she kept feeling something reach up and like tug on her hair. and Felt like somebody had a hand, their hand on her shoulder. And, you know, she's had an uneasy feeling about the place, right? So, uh, you listening? Yep, I'm listening. So, um, so anyway, I, I remember that story. And, uh. I asked her one time where it was because I'd been in this house, right? And I remember where it was, and she said, "Yeah, that's the one your dad took you to that I was telling telling you about years ago." Because remember, this is years later. And uh, what's his name? Sony. She said sorry. Huh? Nancy. Oh, for what? For <laughs> Nancy. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> so uh. So I went back a couple times and uh, kind of, there was still stuff in there. I mean, you know, it was kind of scattered about, but this stuff had been there 15, 20 years, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. and my first wife and I, we, 
go in there and stop by because we like cruise around a lot, you know, in the back roads and explore old houses. And uh, so one day we was in there. We'd been there a couple times. We couldn't stay long. So this time we stayed, you know, a couple hours. We're checking a place out, and and you know, my first wife, she was, she wasn't. I mean, she believed in ghosts and stuff, but she didn't like feel anything or anything like that. Right. She'd go anywhere. It didn't bother. Her. It didn't matter. She wouldn't, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, she'd never seen a ghost yet or anything like that. You know. Right. I mean, she believed in them, but she just. just but the whole time we were there, this time she was like, "Man, I feel like somebody's watching us." You know. Mm -hmm. I said, "Ah, you know, you're just, you're just." Psyching yourself out, you, you know, you're just creeping yourself out. It was almost dark time, right? And she said, no, man. She said, listen, she says, I, I'm telling you, something's following us around here. I could feel it, and I felt it before, but I didn't say nothing to her, you know, because she never got freaked out on anything. Well, this time she's getting freaked out, so that was kind of freaking me out. Mm -hmm. It was just the two of us, and we're out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, like, the nearest house was, like, three miles away, right? No shit on back roads. So if something happened, I mean, you know, what the hell, right? <laughs> and the weird thing was, you know, I was having problems with my car then. Mm. So, you know, sometimes it would start up, and sometimes you had to mess around with it for half an hour or so. So I'm like, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Well, maybe we better get out of here. Sure enough, go out get in the car. Nothing, nothing. Shit. All right, okay. So let's just let it sit for a little bit. And uh, it would flood out sometimes. So what I would do when that would happen is uh, I'd tap the carburetor, you know, because the float was sticking, and I would put a brick on the accelerator wide open so that way it'd get air in it and it'd dry out the cylinders. Right. Right? So, because I didn't want to sit there and crank on it for half an hour, run a battery down out in the middle of nowhere. We didn't have cell phones in, you know. No. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. like, let's go in the house, had one of them little flashlights, you know. The mag lights when they first come out, you know. Oh, well, it was, we're in there walking around shit. And now we're hearing shit moving. We're not talking to animals. I mean, I, I really thought there was somebody there. But I know there wasn't because we had been there a couple hours, you know. We, we went through the whole place and there, there was no one there. And there was no way for anybody to get there to begin with. Mm -hmm. There were no signs of any squatters or anything like that, right? So, the one place... I had never been down into was the basement. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. let's go check the basement now. Right. By by then, you know, I had, I had some some beer, so I'm feeling pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go let's go check the basement now. She's like, no, fuck you. I'm going to the car. <laughs> so, right, you go to the car and be out there by yourself. She's like, all right, I'll go with you. So <laughs> we went down the basement, right? And down in the basement, they had these uh, old incubators where you would hatch eggs. Because mm -hmm. this was a farm, right? Right. Big old farm. This was a farmhouse. And there was a bunch of them, but they were old, old, old incubators. But we're down there, and we go in, into the boiler room. I mean, this thing had a huge coal furnace like you'd never seen, like you see in the movies, like Freddy Krueger style furnace type oh. thing. Uh -huh. This thing was huge. So I'm down there, I'm trying to light around, I'm looking at all this neat stuff. The pump for the well and everything was in the basement because I also had a cistern in there. It was really neat, right? This, this place was built in the late 1800s, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm shining this light around, we're digging it, and bam, my freaking light goes out. Mm. My mag light goes out, bam, boom, deader in hell. We're down there, right? I didn't smoke yet, so I didn't even have a freaking lighter. Mm. So. We're, we're trying to feel our way to get back upstairs. I'm the first one, right? So we get upstairs and the old creaky door, you know, it's all rusted. I'm pushing it over a little bit more so I have more room to get through because we had to kind of squeeze sideways to get in because the door didn't want to move. It was rusted on the hinges. So, <clears throat> so I get it moved just enough for us to come through. And now we can see a little bit because of the moon and shit, right? It was coming in through the windows a little bit. <clears throat> I could have sworn I seen some a shadow walk past her. And I didn't have a chance to say anything or anything. She was like, she said, something just walked past me. She said, I swear to God, something just walked past me. 
I didn't have to say anything. So I didn't tell her this until later on, you know, because mm -hmm. because now we're getting really scared. And she she's the one who got the car, and me. I know I want to find out what this is, right? Right. <laughs> I'm wanting to know what's going on here. So I go upstairs, or she's following me. So we go upstairs, and you still see pretty good. You can somewhat see what you, the stairway you couldn't really see, but up upstairs you could. And there was a, another door that went up into the attic. It looked like an old closet door. Mm -hmm. And that door was open. And earlier, when I was up in that attic, and I came down, I closed that door. Mm -hmm. Right? And she said, no, I know you closed that door. I said, yeah, I know I did too. I said, but there, there's, maybe there's somebody up there. Because we kept hearing shit moving. So... I proceed to go up into the attic. Well, I couldn't see nothing up in there. So, and I had no light, and I'm looking around. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. <clears throat> so, coming back down out of the attic, and uh, I closed closed the door again, and I latched it this time. They have one of those little latch hooky thingies. Yeah. And uh, so I latched it, and we go in this other room, and all at once we hear it. It's like that. Boom, it shook the house. What the fuck was that? Somebody slammed the door. Hmm. Right? And I said, what the fuck was that? I didn't hear nothing but steps going. Bitch took off and left me there. <laughs> By myself. So, my ass is booking, right? So I get out the car. I'm like, gee, what the fuck was that all about? Yeah. She said, I know what door that was. She said, it was a basement door. I said, that basement door is, is you can't move it. You see me try to move it. It's, you know, it's not going to slam shut. I couldn't slam it if I wanted to. So go check it out. So I know it's what it was. I know where the sound came from. Mm -hmm. I says, all right. So, guess what? I'm outside. Mag light kicks on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go check this out, right? Yeah. So I go in, walk through the kitchen, I shine a light over at that door, and that door is fucking closed tighter than hell. Mm. And I'm, I'm telling you, you can't move it. I could not open that door. As much as I tried, I could not open that door. Hmm. So I'm like, okay. I said, if somebody's in here right now, let me know. Bam, my mag light shut off again. Hmm. Right? So I hear these footsteps walking. Well, I thought it was Vicky coming in. So I'm like, Vic. Vic. So the light went out again. And be careful, you know, where you're walking. The light's out. Never answered me. Footsteps stopped, like right at the doorway into the living room where I came into the into the kitchen. I didn't see her. And by this time, my eyes are starting to adjust to the darkness, but I could still see some shit. Wasn't nobody there, right? So I go in, and I look out the window. And I see her standing out in front of the car. Mm -hmm. She was never in there. Uh -oh. So I start hearing footsteps this time. Getting closer, coming down the goddamn step. Right? Mm -hmm. I shot back outside. As soon as I run outside, you know, my light was still kicked on, mm -hmm. but it was out. Well, as soon as I come outside, it kicked back on again. Hmm. And I told her what was going on. She said, well, well, we need to try the car again so we can go. I said, no, I, I got to find out what the hell is walking around in there. Mm -hmm. So this time, I go back in, and I go up where I heard the steps coming down the stairs. Mm -hmm. So I go up in there, and this time the light stayed on. I'm shining the light around. Guess what? What? That freaking attic door was open. Uh -huh. It was open this far, yeah. So if there was somebody oh. up in the attic, yeah. they couldn't unhook the latch from the outside. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So now I'm freaking out. So I start back down the steps, and each time I make a step, it sounded like somebody was behind me making a step. Mm -hmm. So I get down the bottom of the steps, and I'm shining a light around. I don't see nothing, right? But I could hear something, and it almost sounded like a breathing Mm -hmm. Like there was somebody standing, you know, like real close to you. Mm -hmm. She's still outside, right? So, now I'm getting scared, all right? But this time, I hollered up the steps. 
and I said, if there's anybody here with me right now, I want you to prove it the last and final time, and then I'll leave. I will leave. Just prove to me. And I heard steps again. Getting closer, like somebody was running down the steps, and all at once, boom. Oh. I got knocked like something pushed me out of the way. I'm serious. I got knocked up against the wall. Wow. She heard it from outside. She came running in and said, you all right? By that time, I met her at the door. I said, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I went out, and this time, well, Mercury started. Yeah, Ford product, by the way. <laughs> little Mercury Capri, little five-speed. Looked like the Mustang. Uh -huh. It started right up, and we hauled ass out of there. And we got out of there, and we got about two miles up the road, and we pull over, and we're just sitting there, you know, just talking yeah. about it you know to calm down and shit yeah. and then i told her everything that that i i had experienced and all that but that was the first time i was ever shoved and i mean this thing body checked me and, and it wasn't a person guys it was not a person something body checked me and she heard it because yeah. she thought i fell down the steps because she didn't know my light was still working Cause, you right. know it kept going out mm -hmm. and you know after that because i used that light fishing a lot at night night fishing and that that light never shut off again after that unless the batteries went dead mm -hmm. the batteries went dead and then usually it just got dim mm -hmm. but it never acted up after that now we was going to go back to that house he said oh geez and uh <laughs> yeah this is true this is true story this is not made up this is true shit this you know actually experienced I experienced it happen and we was going to go back to that house well we got out there that house had mysteriously burnt down <laughs> now that's the second house that mysteriously burnt down now there was another house it's another story that we went into and someone had just moved out I mean there was shit all over the yard it was just like they trashed the place and left <laughs> right so I was like, wow. I mean, they busted all the windows out. They got evicted is what happened. Because I got a hold of the owner, right? Uh -huh. Call the owner. Told him what I like to do and stuff like that. Yeah, so I just like to explore and shit like that. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. You know, you, you want to go check it out? He said, there's nothing in there to hurt. He said, you could go check it out. You know, I said, all right. I said, uh, if anybody calls you and tells you, you know, I'll be out there next Saturday night and it's going to be late at night. So if someone tells you there's a car there, it'll be me, it'll be a blue mercury. He said, no problem. Friday night he calls me. He says, man, I know I gave you permission to go out there, but he says, I don't know if you want to go now. I thought maybe change his mind. I said, why? He said, uh, the place burnt down. On Thursday night, he said, I burned down last night. I was supposed to go there on Saturday. I said, sir, you shouldn't me. He said, no. He said, uh, they're investigating it. They don't know what caused it. There was no power or anything like that. So we just figured, you know, the people that got kicked out, you know, that trashed the place might have burned it down. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it still wasn't in bad shape. I mean, it, you know, new windows and stuff. He could have fixed it up and rented it. Mm -hmm. Big two-story house. But he calls me about six months later. So you remember me? I said, yeah, yeah. So what did you find out about that? He said, they're trying to tell him it was electrical. Well, there's no power on. There was no power. That's what they couldn't figure out. It was not arson. One of the, the light switches shorted out, and there was no power in there. Wow. Now, he did tell me that when they was getting, before he evicted the people, that there was one room that this light kept kicking on yeah they would see the light kick on and you know from the other room so they'd go in and the light switch would actually be up mm -hmm. so it wasn't like it was short and out and kicking on something was fl flipping it on and off and that's where the fire originated now whether that was you know paranormal or whether but there was no power to that house the power was off there was no power in that house right you know that's crazy yeah. Nuts. I mean, there hadn't been power in there for three or four months from mm. the time they moved out. Well, the power got shut off. That's one of the reasons why he evicted them. Right. The power got shut off, and, you know, mm -hmm. and they were living there, and he couldn't have that. Yeah. So, and they had kids and stuff, and they, so he says, I can't have you living here. So he had to evict them. Mm. So the power wasn't on for, you know, a few months. Yeah. Wow. So how it was electric, we don't know. I mean... I don't, I don't know. I can't explain that one. And But the fire marshal said it. I can tell you guys right now, it was not arson. Hmm. It was electrical in nature. And it started right there at that switch. Hmm. You wow. know, I mean, it didn't burn clear down the ground. It kind of shelled it out and the roof was kind of collapsing. 
Right. But I, w I went in there. I, d I did meet up with Aaron out there, and we went in and looked. And you, you could definitely tell that's where that fire started from that switch because that was, a, you know, mm -hmm. it just kind of spread out. The fire department got there in time for, you know, was it before it burnt down to the ground because it, it was only a couple miles from the fire department. But, I mean, it's still a total loss. Yeah. But that... I'm telling you guys, that, that's some freaky shit. I, I don't know, you know, hmm. this day. But the fire marshal swears, no, that that was electrical in nature. There's no power to it. And he said, we know. We know there's no power to it. But that's where it started at, right there. There's no accelerant. There's no signs of arson. It's a sign of a typical electrical fire hmm. with no power on it in the house. So... Strange. But, I mean, see, the, the owner lived there before he rented it out. Mm -hmm. And he said he never, you know, noticed anything paranormal. So, what the hell caused that? Um, How is that possible? Who knows? All right, I got about 1,999 more. <laughs> but, you know, there's my two stories. So. That's cool. How long have we been? Oh, we've been on an hour? Mm-hmm. Hey, right, we'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll shut it down in case people want to go do something. But yeah, that was, uh, that's some creepy shit. Was it like the time I stopped to pick up a hitchhiker that wasn't there? Oh, yeah? Mm hmm What are you picking up a hitchhiker yep. for? Uh, well, we, we did that back in the late 80s. Come on. You know, I mean, it wasn't nothing to see somebody walking. You stop and give them a ride. You know what I mean? It wasn't like nowadays. No. Mm -hmm. And uh, I seen this dude walking, had his thumb up, you know, backpack mm -hmm. on. I'm like, okay. Especially if they had a backpack, I'd pick them up because, you know, I knew they wouldn't escape ease or anything. Yeah. But. She said your train scare was the scariest one you've uh, that, ever heard. Yeah, that was. I think a, so too. Yeah. You're lucky you're here. <laughs> Yeah. Huh. Yeah, somebody commented on that and said, Do you know? Yeah. It was less than a minute yeah. from the time he seen the train to He's very lucky. Yeah, that somebody was helping him. <laughs> yeah, that was um so I could see I mean I could I would have been alright because it had like the oh shit part you could stand off on. Yeah. And the train would go past you. But when this when this woman supposedly got hit by the train or jumped yeah. or thinking she got hit by a train uh, the uh, they didn't have that, you know. It was just a bridge. Mm -hmm. You had nowhere to go if a train came. So I, I could totally see that happening. That could have happened mm -hmm. very well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's very feasible. That you know. I mean, if I hadn't have been looking because I heard the train, if I hadn't have been looking for that light, I, would, you know, I, it, you know, it would have been on me before I knew. Now I would have been all right. I think standing there on the bridge, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, that was that was pretty scary. If I'd have tripped, pff, so long, Shaber. <laughs> yeah. That that video is still up. Yeah, Shaber's train scare or something like that. Wow. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that was a little. I mean, you can see how close it was when it got off of there, and, and just right before the train gets there, you can hear the tracks going. Tick, 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 and then the train comes. You were younger too. You could run. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wasn't that much younger. It's only. It wasn't ten years ago, was it? No. no, 2013 maybe, mm. 2014, some 14, I don't know, only five or six years ago, <laughs> but yeah, that's a good thing I can run, but you know, when you got a train bearing down on you and it's dark out, you, you, probably, you can run pretty quick when you want to, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty scary though, yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yep, yeah, that hitchhiker was hitchhiking, man, I was just out cruising. I turned around, go back and give him a ride. So I turned around. He was hitchhiking. So I turned around and went back past him. He was still there, and you know, to turn around and come back because I knew he was heading that direction. So I pull in this driveway and back out. And just as I shine my lights to where he was, it was like it was like he stepped off to the side of the road and didn't see him no more. I just figured, you know. So when I pulled out, and then I could not find him after that. I drove that road for 10, 15 minutes, backing up and going forward because I knew he was mm -hmm. standing right there by the by the sign. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't see him nowhere. I even got out and hollered. I didn't hear nobody. But when mm -hmm. I backed out of that driveway and shined my lights, it just looked like he stepped over. He had no. He couldn't have ran anywhere. You know. I mean, he had a backpack. Mm -hmm. And he was gone. He was gone. Now he didn't look ghostly or nothing. He just looked like a normal person. Mm -hmm. Remember, like when I seen the dude on a bike up here. Yeah. I went to see what kind of bike was yeah, riding and he was, was going. Yeah, that was weird. And I was like, what bike? She didn't see it. And I said, there, mm -hmm. there was a dude on a bike. I wanted to see his bike. It was a bicycle, you know. And But it was like, he was going and just, just disappeared. And I started looking. She said, what are you doing? Just right up the road here. He was on the biking path. Where I, the I Green said, Mile pat biking path. Well, they don't know where that yeah. is. But, but there, anyway, he, so I was, he had nowhere to go. I was like, fuck this. I said, I know he was back there. I know I seen it, and we come home, and I was like, wait a minute, I'll bet your camera picked him up, and then I'll know where he went. Nothing. No, no, he wasn't there. Mm -mm. I mean, we're driving along, talking, and then, you know, you hear her go, what do you see? I said, there was a dude. The camera never picked him up, and it should have. Yeah. I seen him, though, but the camera didn't. And there was nowhere for him to hide there was or go for him down to go. somewhere. And else. if there was somebody there, that camera would have picked him up because there was strange. a car there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was picked that the car up. It, yeah, it picked the car up. It was like this this guy on the bike went around the back of the car. Uh huh. Because you know they were stopped there, like in the middle of a bike path, kind of. And he just like like he went around the back of that car and never came back mm -hmm. out. And the camera shows where I would have seen the guy, but he was never there. Yeah. But I seen him. I swear to God I seen him. Mm. He wasn't there. It was strange. He said, yeah. <laughs> Vega Boys. Yeah, Vega Boys is cool. Mm. It was scary. By the way, Vega, you figure out that spice yet? <laughs> He's going to shit when I tell him. <laughs> Nancy should watch that video and, and guess the spice that you had. Maybe she can... Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you just missed it, man. I had, I had a 32-pound bass on. Yeah, he, he got away, though. <laughs> See, happy Halloween. <laughs> I didn't even hear them coming. Yeah, a couple people walking past and said, you all catching anything? <laughs> That was cool. That's funny. <laughs> oh my god. We're too funny. You're filming us? Yeah. Oh. Okay. For my channel. Oh. She's filming my live stream. For my channel. She's filming us live streaming for her channel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Halloween thing. Okay. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's good stories though. Yeah. Hi, what do you think? Here we call it a night? Whenever you are. I gotta fight, figure out how I'm gonna get out of the boat. Same way you got in backwards. Hello, <laughs> I don't know about that. I'll have another cigarette and then we'll. It's a long way down there. <laughs> well, it's like 30 feet. Maybe for you. Nancy, I went fishing last night and I caught a 13, 36 inch gar. A little over 36 inch, probably 36 and a quarter, 36 and a half inch gar. I filmed it. So. Yeah. It's a fight, but he's hopping out of the water when I'm bringing him in. Mm -hmm. Got my strings all. I had to cut the lines. I did get to save my hook and hooks and sinkers though, but I had to cut the lines because they were so tangled up on each other. Yeah, that's a good idea. That was going to put his name in it too. What? He said, Monkey, just name your video Scary Stories with Shea Bear. <laughs> yeah, she said, Wow, cool. Yeah. <laughs> scary Stories with Shea Bear. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's basically what it is. So. Yeah. But you need to try to see if you can um, guess the ingredient, Nancy. <laughs> so you got to go on his channel and watch the video. Vega Boys. They've been guessing hard. He's been trying and trying. I, I mean, bad. he's guessed like. 80 times. Yeah, he's, still haven't got it. No. <laughs> he's, no. He's getting frustrated. He's trying there. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying hard. But <laughs> if you guess it, he'll give you a shout out on his channel. Yep. Yeah.
not that we're not doing it right now for everybody, <laughs> but you know, it'll right. be a special video just to, yep. just for the person to guess it. Interesting. I will do that when I get a chance. Yeah, out loud. yeah right. I know, yeah. Another feeling. Hmm. Yeah. You heard them people usually. <laughs> I know. <they're> <laughs> I've seen them in here. I never started seen them. I didn't hear them. They were quiet as I, I could see. Well, I heard them too. I could see like a silhouette. And then he said something. Like, Y'all catching anything? <laughs> they probably think we're crazy sitting in the freaking boat in the front yard. <coughs> if they've been past this house any even one time before this, they'll think nothing of it. <laughs> so that's Shea Bear again. That's funny. Hopefully I'll hear something from a producer. In yeah. a couple weeks. Yeah. Soon. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't the first one. Huh? Did you hear that? No. There was footsteps on it, I swear to God, right here. And it's not a person. I mean, right here. Like, two steps. Hmm. Like, on the road. Like coming towards us. We don't get trick or treaters, so I don't even bother trying. No. Especially right now. I'm, you know, my daughter's got her kids down here from Alabama, so she's taking them out tonight. They have a special place yeah. they go. Well, them. there's there's no trick or treaters on it's this It's so street. dark here, um, you know, people just don't. No, it's not that. Here. I mean, people don't give up. I mean, because they don't come. No. Last year, we had a church group stop and gave us candy. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, isn't that backwards? They're like, no. We, just... we want our kids to learn how to give yeah. instead of receive. So they, they showed up, knocked on their door, and gave us candy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was the weirdest thing I ever had happen to Yeah, me. we were knocking on the door, mm. and it was like, what the fuck? No, they rang the bell. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> no trick-or-treaters. We don't have a light on or nothing. <laughs> Come out. <laughs> And I heard her talk to somebody like, what the hell was that? And she goes, look, they gave us candy. I'm like, what? That was cool. <laughs> should have had a bag of Tootsie Rolls, and if they drive by, throw them at them in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Y'all catching anything? <laughs> you hear that? What? You didn't hear that? Mm -mm. I hear a dog. No, right here. No. Here, Halloween is canceled. The kids are not allowed to trick or treat door to door or at churches or malls or anything. Everything is closed and nowhere for the kids to go. Well, there you got stuff here. They, they did, Whoa. some of them did the trunk thing. Not very many, but there are some that are doing yeah, stuff. Yeah, trunk or treat. Yeah. <laughs> and there are a few neighborhoods that are, are giving out candy. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, remember, they was worse, though, in Washington than we yeah, were. Yeah, yeah. But my family in England's telling me that they're going to shut down England until December the 1st because it's gotten so bad again. And she said they were going to give uh, them more details at 5 o'clock, whenever that was. So I haven't heard from her since. We should go to the treehouse. <laughs> no lights. Yeah. Not nah, here. They will find you if you are caught doing it. Not in Florida. Nope. No, but hun, she clear yeah. out. Like, oh, some yeah. places are different. Yeah, Florida's different. Yep. I, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind wearing a mask. I don't mind staying home if we have to. Uh, we got the boat now. We just, you know. Yeah, we can social distance in the boat. Yeah, they'll let you boat. Yeah. They don't want you tying your boats together. No, I wouldn't be with a bunch of crowds anyway. No, I'm We'd just be saying, out on our No, own. but some people like to get together and tie their boats yeah, off. They yeah. don't want you doing that. No, you're not allowed to do that. Mm-mm. No. But, you know, when you get it, you know, get out on the lake or the river, you know. Yeah. 
I mean, you can still talk to people. They just don't want you tying off. Right. You're doing it in a distance. I've been tested anyways. I'm fine for right now. I'm supposed to get tested every we two We still weeks. wear a mask though. It's not mandatory down here no more, but we still wear a mask. Still, mm -hmm. there's there's more people wearing their mask now than when I wore it last to. night. We went to Chuck E. Cheese and we wore our mm -hmm. masks in there. I didn't wear a mask. No, you were outside fishing. <laughs> An old lady in that window move. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you never know in my house. It's your mom. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, man. Tell you what, weird shit's been stepping up in that house here lately. If you're caught without a mask here, you will be arrested on the spot. No more fines. It's instant jail. Mm. But yeah, it's been getting weird in that house. Mm hmm. I heard radio. I know what yeah, I heard. You said that already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was creepy. Strange. That was gonna bother me all night. I didn't hear. I couldn't believe you didn't hear. I didn't hear the radio. I heard the TVs on. I didn't hear the radio. Yeah, it was about Saturday Night Live. Sure, it wasn't the neighbor. No, I don't think so. I thought it was more coming from the garage. I have nothing on in that garage. Yeah, that's why I asked you if you had a radio on. I have low nothing or on in that garage. Hmm. I don't know. I think the lights on right now, but I mean, there's no anything that makes any kind of sound like that. There's no. Oh, really? They didn't have any costumes either? Wow. Oh, Walmart has all kinds of costumes here. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah we're here. She's there. I'm just letting her know that the difference. Okay. But anyway, wow. yeah, that's, I didn't hear any, there's nothing on in that, in that garage that would make any kind of noise. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Probably an armadillo. I heard that. That's not an armadillo. What the hell is that? I don't know. I hear a jet ski. Yeah, but no, I heard something rustle. So you can hear the airboats. Yeah, from here. Somebody's got jet ski out. Jet ski. Yeah, we should walk over to the tree house. I walked over there, was it last week? Yeah. And the hatch was closed. Wow. Yeah, so someone's been over there. Huh. Maybe the wind blew it down. It never blew it down before. It didn't blow it down during the hurricane. Yeah. So, you know, someone's been over there. Hmm. I've heard kids over there a few times. Yeah. Messing around over, probably up in there. I think it's those kids over there that go over there probably. sometimes. Yeah. I think they were the ones that brought the chair in there. Chair's gone. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, chair's gone. What was that? I don't know. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard That's not like came from Jerry's house. It might have. Look nobody, how dark it is over there's there. There's nobody in Jerry's house now. No. No. It's black over there now. I get an eerie feeling every time I walk past that house. Oh, I try to block it out of my head. Every time you open up the door, you're looking at Jerry's house. It's like, whoa. You know, you don't see his truck there. No, I don't think it was a bear. Huh? She said, but do you think it was a bear? No, I haven't seen any bears here 
No. No, we'll have coyotes I'm, here. I'm sure they, they've been passed, but <clears throat> the bears, I think, would be on the end of the street down by the park. Yeah. It's all wooded back in there. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard coyotes in a long time over there. You used to hear them from here. Oh, I heard them. What the hell? <laughs> How's it going? Alright, where y'all at, Buck? Yeah, we're fishing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. We're trying. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs> Only us. We're, <laughs> we're the, we're the fun people. Well, we just sit here in the front yard and people come up. <laughs> what the hell are you in a boat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably think we're on. <laughs> we are. We're on a boat. <laughs> on a <the> trailer. <coughs> on the grass. That's on the funny. truck. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. All right. Well, you ready? Yeah, Vega said, I used to hear coyotes when we camped in Nebraska with my friends. Mm, yeah. They used to, I used to hear them almost every night I, down I here. I did a couple weeks ago. I heard them. Yeah? Yeah. They were up. And then, and you can hear them from here. Yeah, and then I the had street. a neighbor when I first moved here. He said that he had seen coyotes on the street once. But after that, he said he has never seen them. Oh, again. I've heard them close. Yeah. Yeah. Before. They don't, they don't bother us. Right. But yeah, I've heard them. He said, I'd love to camping again in the mainland. Hmm. Hmm? He said, I'd love to go camping again in the mainland. Yeah. I love camping. Yeah, we do. We like to go camping. Camping's so much fun. Mm-hmm. We have a good time. I want to get out there in the wilderness, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> They're all closed. Yep. We just have to go out and into the forest and pull off into a little place and pitch a tent. Yep. I don't think they can say anything. It's a forest. I don't think so. <clears throat> that place we were looking at would probably be a good place. Yep. Yeah. I don't think anyone would say anything. Oh, what are they going to say? Oh, you have to leave? I said it's the forest. Yeah, that's, right? That's what our taxes go to, so we can have places like this. Yeah. This is our forest, not yours. <laughs> you don't own it. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> Get back in your little truck. <laughs> go rate somebody a ticket for fishing without a license. Leave us alone. Right? <laughs> Put you on a live stream, asshole. <laughs> have you all ever stayed in a cabinet in the winter? No. I have. I thought about it, but we didn't get there. We never got there. It is cool. Camping. Yeah. Yeah, in a cabin in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got a story. I got a story about a cabin for some time too. Yeah. Yep. I was by myself. Mm. <clears throat> I was on a dare. I was an abandoned cabin. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't make it. You didn't make it? No. You didn't go? No, I went. Oh. I didn't make it all night. Oh. I left a couple hours early. Shit me. What the hell? You guys hear that? He, was, he went up that way. This came, this came from here. He went that way. Crazy. Crazy. There's something up in the tree. Yeah. Probably the moth man. The moth man? Yeah. Or the squirrels. Uh, the squirrels are sleeping. Do they sleep now? Yeah. They're not nocturnal. Mm. <laughs> They're bedded down, man. What is it? We don't know. <laughs> you come here and I tell us. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It might even get my stuff in here. See, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to scroll every few minutes. I'll look now. Oh, I'm running out of battery. I did run You've out of battery. You've been running out of battery. Um, it's, still, uh, it's still on. Is it still on? It's still on. See, it says record. Uh -huh. 
It's blinking. It's letting you know it's going to run out. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess I got enough. I can kind of leave. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say I'm out for now, everyone. <laughs> Stay tuned for Shea Bear. Y'all taking selfies now? <laughs> No, we're live streaming. How y'all doing? You mind if I come over for a minute? <laughs> come on over. <laughs> What's happening, man? No shit, man. Hey. I'm going through with my wife and I'm staying at my mom's house and my buddy lives up the road. I just. Seeing what's going on. Y'all catching anything or what? No, they're not biting for some reason. Fuck. <laughs> I figured that. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Bert. All right, Bert. Hey, I'm Bert. Marty. This is Robert, but <laughs> this is Laura. I'm Marty. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing? All right. All right. I see, cause you're in a fucking boat in the front yard. Well, we're fishing. Up. Yeah, we were going to go boating, but the tail lights on the trailer wasn't working. So, yeah. so we just thought we'd sit out here in the boat. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you drinking? No, not no. tonight. Uh uh. You guys do drink? No. Not very often. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Kids? I oh, mine are growing. so many questions, <laughs> but, you know, I'm, my mom lives there. I don't, I don't know. Where does your mom there. live? Uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's right fucking there with that street light. Oh, yeah? In the little house, greenhouse there. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah with the Toyota? Uh, no. Is that the one? No. She's no. got a Kia and he's got oh. a red Chevrolet pickup. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, didn't he have, right, didn't right he have that for he sale? He had a, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that truck. Remember, I always comment on how nice it is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm uh -huh. a Chevy guy. Nice truck. Yes, yeah. sir. I am too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. Y'all from around here? Well, originally no. I'm from Ohio. <laughs> She's originally from Canada. Yeah. We live here now, so. Yeah. <laughs> Just move here recently or what? No, uh, we've been here. Well, I've been here four years. Four years? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. I mm. think they might have been there about the same now. My mom and her boyfriend, Billy. Oh, yeah? Hmm. She got in an accident about a while back and tore her fucking car bad. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. She had a hurt back and hip and all that good shit. And yeah. Insurance didn't pay her shit because it costs us too much to fix everything else. Oh, man. And That's the guy had goes. the same insurance company she did. Mm. So she just got that little Kia thing. Yeah, I've seen the Kia. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. my mom's shit mm. there. So. Mm. Wow. But shit. I'm just hanging out. I, I really want to go back to Applebee's and hang out. Something I want to check out. 